tinanggal sa pwesto ang anim na opisyal ng Bureau of Customs habang iniimbestigahan ang umanoy smuggling ng asukal sa Port of Subic. August 18, nagkaroon ng pagtatangka sa Port of Subic na ipuslit ang nasa 140,000 sako ng imported na asukal mula sa Thailand. Samantala, sa gitna ng ulan, kahapon pinasok ng mga operatiba ng Bureau of Customs ang bodegang ito sa Araneta Avenue, Quezon City. Sabi ng isang source, may intelligence information daw kasi na may nakatagong smuggled na asukal sa loob sa isang bahagi ng bodega. Doon tumambad ang patong-patong na sako ng asukal na halos umabot na sa bubong ang taas. Sa inisyal na bilang ng mga nagsasagawa ng operasyon, 57,000 ang sako ng imported na asukal. Katumbas yan nang aabot sa 285 milyon pesos. Galing daw sa Thailand ang mga asukal at dumating sa Pilipinas nitong Hunyo. Ipinasara na muna ng customs ang bodega. Ako, sabihin ko lang sa'yo, I have no doubt about you. Alam kong uh, nag-research muna ako about uh, you and I found out na you have a very good track record, service track record. But since you are involved in this fiasco, uh, you have to answer my questions. Is it all right with you? Yes, Your Honor. Now, uh, based doon sa sinabi kanina ni Executive Secretary, lahat ng text mo sa kanya regarding na nagpapalo up ka about uh, uh, this uh, yung sugar order number 4 ay wala siyang sagot sa mga text mo. Uh, is that true? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay. So wala siyang sagot. Now, sinabi niya na ang sagot mo daw sa kanya at sa kasi si Rafika ay akala ninyo na okay na kay Presidente. Is it true? That's correct, Your Honor. That's correct. Ilang taon ka na bang yusik dyan sa agriculture, uh, Sir Sebastian? Uh, March to the present, Your Honor. So bago lang? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So, alam mo, sa amin, no, sa, sa police at sa military, maraming namamatay sa maling akala. Pag nag-assume ka ng nag-assume, ay talagang lives are at stake. Pwedeng mamamatay ka sa gira pag nag-assume ka ng nag-assume. So, alam niyo yung ginawa niyo assumption is uh, parang ako, kung ako'y ordinaryong tao, ay I, I cannot accept that uh, reason kung na sabi niyo, na permahan mo yung yung sugar order number 4 in behalf of the President or 4 uh, and in behalf of the President being the uh, Secretary of Agriculture na permahan mo yan dahil sa maling akala. Parang hindi ko matanggap-tanggap yung, uh, ra yung rason na yan. Uh, meron pa bang mas malaking rason dyan? Aside sa maling akala. People are wondering, people are uh, uh, speculating na mayroon pang mas mabigat na rason siguro yan. Bakit mo pinirmahan? Hindi lang sa maling akala. Ako, I don't buy that uh, justification. Uh, forgive me for my frankness. Uh, maling akala. I will not buy that explanation. Please uh, give me more uh, 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 satisfying uh, explanation. So it supplements. It supplements, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Chair. But before he delivers his uh, yeah, opening statement, I just would like to get an answer, yes, instant Honor. answer from the my question. The the instant answer, Your Honor, is that uh, starting uh, July or even earlier than that, we are already seeing the rise of a uh, price of sugar and also the uh, diminishing supply of domestic sugar, Your Honor. Yes, so, tayo nito, tayo. yes, yes I would Honor. like to restate my uh, question, uh, Yosek, no? Uh, sabi mo, authorized ka, pumirma. Uh, therefore, kinakounter mo yung... Uh, but but before, uh, before I ipagpatuloy ko yun, uh, I would like to 
express my appreciation sa yung ginawa that you voluntarily uh, resign from your uh, post. Uh, that was a very gentlemanly act for, uh, coming from you. But uh, just to uh, get to the bottom of this, please answer my question. Uh, parang lumalabas sa sinasabi mo na you are authorized. Therefore, you are contradicting the statement of Malacanang that uh, sugar order number four is uh, illegal. You are not authorized to sign according to them. As per the July 15, 2022 uh, memorandum from the Executive Secretary as authorized by the President, Your Honor, it is very clear, uh, if I may read, and I think that was also cited by the Honorable Risa Ontiveros. Mr. Uh, Sebastian, did you talk or approach the President before you signed SO number four? I did not have that chance, Your Honor. Did you not even call him or uh, make an appointment with the President before you signed uh, SO4? Because I, uh, because I have this document, S SO number 4. You signed, your signature appears, you signed in, uh, above the name of uh, the President. I signed for the Secretary of Agriculture, Your Honor, who is yes. also the Chair of SRA. You signed in behalf of the Secretary of Agriculture, which is the President himself. Am I correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Why did you not ask permission from the President? I base it on, my, on the authority that was given to me in good faith, Your Honor. Uh, authority given to you by the, by whom? By the, by by that memo on July 15, by the executive 20, secretary 2022 by the executive, by the executive secretary? secretary as authorized by the president yes did you talk to the executive secretary before signing this in behalf of the president uh, i sent the memorandum on august 5 your honor and as uh, also uh, mentioned by the executive secretary i texted him on a sunday of that uh, the, the, the next the following sunday so he did not reply am i correct that's correct, Your Honor. He did not reply, but you still signed it. I, if, in my Without affidavit, any permission coming from the President himself. That is correct, Your Honor. In my affidavit, You shouldn't have, have signed the Your SO Honor, number four without, uh, the, uh, without the approval of the President. I, there is also in that memorandum, Your Honor, that whatever I do can be considered regular unless disapproved or approbated by the President, Your Honor. And that is exactly what the President did when I informed him personally on August 10, 2022, Your Honor, when I reported to him that uh, we have approved the 300,000 metric tons uh, importation for sugar, and he disapproved that my action, Your Honor, and also the importation so I immediately conveyed that to Administrator Serapica, and Administrator Serapica also did, the, did a, a rebook or re, uh, remove the publication of that uh, special order, uh, sugar order number four, Your Honor. But I, but I still Thanks. believe that uh, you should have uh, asked for the clearance of uh, the President because your authority to act as chairman of the board emanated from the president am i correct i was acting on the on the in good faith and because of the urgency of the matter your honor but with a full with full sense also your honor that it can be disapproved and reprobated by the president bago po natin himayin ang mga nagtutunggaling mga isyong ito kailangan ulit nating tanungin ano ba ang nangyari at sumabog Itong fiasco, tawag nga ni ES. Are there crossed lines among Malacanang, the DA, and the SRA board? Una, sinasabi ng Malacanang na illegal ang SO4. It was called illegal because it was issued beyond the authority of the entity that issued it. Wala daw authority si dating Yusek Sebastian. But is that true? How can it be illegal when it was the executive secretary himself who issued a memorandum dated 15th July 2022 
authorizing former Yusek Sebastian to sit as ex officio chairman or member of all duly constituted committees, councils, boards, or bodies where the DA secretary is a member. Sa nasabing memo, he has the authority to sign administrative issuances. Sabi ni dating Yusek Sebastian, he may have misread the intent of the president. But it is part of presidential prerogatives to supervise and, if needed, override the exercise of delegated powers. Kaya ang tanong ko, bakit hinaya ang pumalaot ang SO4? Why was it not immediately brought to the attention of the President by the Executive Secretary that there was a new sugar order meant to bring in 300,000 metric tons of sugar? Nag-meeting na pala sila ng August 4, and the intent to import was already clear then. Sabi ni Sec. si Angeles, wala daw alam si ES sa sugar order number 4. Ang sabi pa nila, nung nalaman daw ni ES yung SO4, pinagbigay alam nila sa Pangulo at di umano naggalit ang Pangulo. But a different version of events has surfaced in various news reports and citizen vlogs. As early as August 5, 2022, a draft of the Sugar Order Number no. 4 was already submitted to former SRA Administrator Leo Sebastian. In the afternoon of August 5, the DA OSEC already wrote to the ES and sent him the said draft. At ito yung inamin ni ES kanina. Sent him the said draft as well as a memorandum for the President. Ibig sabihin po, alam ni ES na may umiikot na draft order, an order that received support from stakeholders of the sugar industry. Did he mention this at all to his principal? Di ba dapat ang ES pinoprotektahan ang principal, ang Pangulo? Di ba dapat ang ES gatekeeper? Sa totoo lang, this could have been a simple policy debate on the sterile question of, do we need more sugar? Pero bakit may packaging na niloloko ang Pangulo? Bakit pinapalabas na may paglilin lang? Why suggest na first time nyo nadinig na may sugar order number four when you were informed and kept in the loop as early as August 5? Panghuli. What did the ES think of the 100,000 metric tons standby stocks requested by the SRA to be imported by PITC? They knew this was a proposal. Was this acted upon? Was this to counter the hoarders? Mr. Chair, this only drives home the point na kailangan, kailangan na talaga natin ng maayos na liderato sa DA. I hope this is not a portent of things to come. Maglalabas ng order, iaatras ang order, ide-deny na sangkot sa order. Nobody is helped by disorganized leadership. Not industry, not the traders, not the producers, and certainly not the consumers. This was not only about one man misinterpreting intent and acting outside powers. Ultimately, this is the fallout of a messy, haphazard bureaucracy. Wag na natin i-minimize ang damage na nagawa nito. So, Mr. Chair, on that note, ang dami ko pong gustong tanungin kay ES, and while I do appreciate the fact that he faced the Blue Ribbon Committee, sa tingin ko po, ay dapat pa nilang sagutin ang ilang mga nakabinbin pang katanungan. So joining with the manifestation earlier of the minority leader, I respectfully move Mr. Chair to recall the good ES to answer questions before this body. I so move Mr. Chair. Salamat Mr. Thank, Chair. I think the, uh, Mr. Lance Gokongwe readily agreed if we can together with Victoria's Milling Corporation as well and, uh, as uh, readily, Lucio a and Vincent good, Koch. Uh, and uh, um, Mr. Lance Gokongwe, SM Group, of, uh, together with Victoria's Milling Corporation, 
as well on as, uh, August 15, Lucio Monday, and Vincent Cole, we had our meeting and, with the Philippine uh, Chamber of Food Manufacturers SM Group Incorporated, of, again in Malacanang, uh, and uh, it was manifested by 15, His Excellency Monday, President Marcos we had our meeting that it is his desire food that we ensure sufficient supply Malacanang, and make and, uh, their plants run in full capacity. His Excellency because President during the Marcos, meeting, we were told, Your Honours, desire, that, uh, that we some of them sufficient supply and their plants are running their plants only run in its 40% capacity. capacity. Because during the Dahil meeting, we were told, Your Butler grade that, refined uh, sugar. some of them and it was also on that meeting that the president in instructed me to determine capacity. the balance and the Dahil type of sugar to be imported if and when sugar. we're going to pass sugar order. And it was also uh, on that meeting that the president instructed soon. me to determine the balance on 17 and the type August of sugar Wednesday, to be imported. We met with a group of sugar planters and sugar, sugar producers. Uh, and 20 August soon. Saturday. We were On able to finalize the plan to sell met more or less 3 million kilos sugar of sugar. And when and I told the President that uh, the pledges we were amounted able to, to more or less 3 million kilos, the plan to sell more or less 3 million kilos of sugar. Ang, uh, and sabi ko sa I kanya, told the President, Mr. President that the pledges na amounted po natin sila, to more or less 3 million natin kilos. 80. Ang sabi ko sa kanya, okay, uh, yes, nakiusap ka na lang din naman, uh, uh, tanong mo, kanya, baka pwede pa natin pakiusapan ibenta ng 70. Para naman ng sa ganoon, eh hindi na mahirapan at mabawasan natin yung paghihirap ng ating mga kababayan dahil sa patuloy na pagtaas ng presyo ng asukal. Para naman ng sa ganoon, at uh, tumawag po ako kay Ginoong Gokongwe, kay Ginoong Vincent Ko uh, sa Victoria Spilling at ganoon din po sa SM Stores. At uh, And readily, they said, po sige, ako, tutulong na lang din kami, Gokongwe, uh, kay Ginoong Gokongwe, sila na ibenta ito ng 70. Sa I told them, just take this as another form of uh, private said, public partnership. Tulungan natin, hindi ang Pangulo, kundi yung ating mga overburdened. August 22, Monday, uh, His Excellency, uh, President Ferdinand Marcos, administered the oath to the new SRA board. He also had his first meeting with the new board at ang mga naresolba po ay uh, muli nilang pag-uusapan yung pagpasa po ng SO1. Yung classification of first sugar for the, the incoming crop year at ang, mga at ang pagpasa po ay, ng SO2 for the importation of more or less 150,000 metric tons of sugar. Ang hatian po dito, 75,000 metric tons for industrial at 75,000 metric tons for home consumption. And as, a, as an official of the Department of Agriculture, I am monitoring all these developments, and I'm very concerned that uh, prices are going up. And just like in other commodities, prices are going up, and we in the department are being pressured also to do something, Your Honor. So we presented the uh, briefer, we, have, we gave the President a briefer er, uh, mid-July, Your Honor, already alerting of the uh, diminishing supply of sugar, and also the rising price of sugar, Your Honor. So SRA indicated in their data that we only have a supply of sugar of up to the end of uh, August. So the private sector were also pushing for more supply of sugar. We have dialogue with them. We, have, we consulted the millers, the refiners, and the planters, and they were all unanimous in proposing that we go into 300,000 importation, Your Honor. So they, these are all documented. The sugar order was not, uh, was not decided in one day. It went through a process of consultation and discussion with many stakeholders. We base it on data, Your Honor. And... Uh, that the pressure to come up with a if, to come up to supplement the supply local supply was really there, Your Honor. So if you can imagine, Your Honor, you you've been you 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 are given the authority 
I was given the authority under a memorandum last July 15, 2022, which put me in a bind, Your Honor, because uh, if I don't act, I could be uh, reprimanded or something like that. But if I also act, that's also the, the risk, Your Honor. So I decided that based on that authority and having briefed the President on August 1 during our meeting in Malacanang, as uh, indicated by the Honorable Executive Secretary, and also coming from feedback from the meeting of the Executive Secretary with Administrator Sarapika, Board Member Balderrama, and also the President on August 4, wherein, the, wherein Administrator Sarapika was uh, directed by the President to submit a sugar order, a sugar importation program, which he communicated to me, Your Honor, on uh, August 5, which uh, the, uh, the Executive Secretary so also admitted that uh, it, was, uh, it was sent to him directly by Administrator Sarapika, and which I also communicated through a uh, memorandum to the President. And then, with subsequent follow-up, but uh, getting no reply, and considering the urgency of the situation on sugar, which we now feel, Your Honor, because you see, Your Honor, even if we re approve sugar order number four, now it will take us at least one month before the supply will arrive at the earliest, Your Honor. So all those situations, Your Honor. Uh, uh, Yusek, Yusek, I think you're now lecturing uh, Senator De La Rosa. Ang tinatanong lang niya, yes or no, and then thereafter you proceed with your supplemental affidavit. Pa para ano tayo, concise. 